Okay. All right. All right. Hi, I'm Nikki, and uh, today Luke here is going to transform me into Annabelle. Now, Luke, we're doing this because we're going to be out at the Haunted Sawmill in Merrill. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really fun. It's fun every year. Obviously, you're a part of it. So tell everybody what that is and what they can see when they go there. Okay, so this will be the seventh year of the Haunted Sawmill. We did take last year off, but uh, we kind of don't count that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the Haunted Sawmill started uh, seven years ago as a benefit to raise money for Boy Scouts in the Merrill area. Uh, and what the money goes to is we, it, it all goes to like Jamboree. Um, last year, a couple scouts went out to Vegas to see the Grand Canyon and stuff like that. And the sawmill actually paid for that, more or less. Um, so the ticket sales go into an account and then from the account it just goes to the scouts and they can use it for whatever they want as long as it's scout related very cool so wifc is going to be at the haunted sawmill and being yeah. part of it on october 28th which we're super excited about so i'm going to do this transformation today or you're actually going to do it i'm just going to sit here while he does the transforming um and who knows maybe you'll see this again someday Soon. We'll see. We'll see. Depends on how hard it is. <laughs> All right. Should be pretty easy. Okay, Should so be. we got to start by turning me white. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, just using good old cheap face paint <laughs> and a nice cheapo sponge. Uh, you're so white. Already. I'm so white. Conscious of my breath the whole time. <laughs> so why I'm chewing gum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then just lightly blend it into your neck. Always blend into your neck, even with this kind of face makeup. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and I just turned my hair blue, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> Luckily, Luke here had a wig. Yes, I do. It's a poison ivy wig, but it's it'll a It'll work. Normal. It'll work. Right. So we'll see. Perfect. And then I'm going to fog the camera just a little bit, just so I get underneath your nose. We'll fast forward that part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably going to have to fast forward a lot of this. <laughs> So typically, at the sawmill, we have a group of anywhere from um, five to twelve people doing makeup at once. Oh wow! How many people do you like? How many actors do you have? At any given time, we could have sixty, sixty-five, seventy people there. Uh, and they're all volunteers. They're all volunteers. All do it one hundred percent free. Nice. And it's and you know they all know why they're doing it free. Um, Get but just as a kickback, canned item this nice. year because we figured, well, inflation, it's hard to find canned items for a dollar. Mm -hmm. And then with that, uh, we donate that all to local food pantries, all the donated food. And we typically raise a couple thousand pounds in food. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, every night this year is going to have a theme. And. To find out exactly what nights are themed to what, I would personally go to hauntedsawmill.org. All right. And um, now you also have a Facebook page. We do. We do. And on Facebook, we're just The Haunted Sawmill or Haunted Sawmill. Or you can friend Vincent Mudgett. And uh, if you friend him, he gives you chances for like freebie tickets. He gives you inside looks of what's going on in the haunted house. Like uh, this Saturday tomorrow, we'll be there at like nine o'clock in the morning working. And uh, you know, a lot of people think, "Oh, it's a haunted house. You literally just work there October." No, come April we start building, mm -hmm. and we have meetings almost monthly throughout the year. It's an it's an all year thing, and all the volunteers, especially the committee volunteers donate hundreds of hours. That's awesome. I like it. And that's how it all comes together to be so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean if if it wasn't for um the volunteers, 
we we'd be up the creek without a paddle. Mm -hmm. Completely up the creek without a paddle. No, do you want to use that oh, one or the, the pencil? Pencil. I got the pencil. You got the pencil. Still from my lips. Still from my lips. <laughs> so there's still a little red on it. There is, which I'll just take off on my palm. Perfect. Okay. Now what we got to do is her overaccentuated eyebrows. Okay. You know. Go for it. I'm so excited to be a part of this haunted house. Yeah, I we're used, excited to have you guys. I used to do, I used to not be in them, but I used to go to haunted houses all the time. When I was a kid, my mom used to take us to the Rapids Mall. Okay. The JCs would set up mm -hmm. a haunted house inside the Rapids Mall. Mm -hmm. So they had like a, a kid's time in the afternoon that they would do a little bit toned down. Mm -hmm. And my mom would take us every year, I, as long as I can remember. I was really little when we started going. Nice. Because she worked with a guy who was part of the JCs, mm -hmm. um, so I always loved going to haunted houses. They're fun. Uh, we are not completely, you know, we, it's not like we don't go to other haunted houses. We totally do. We try and reach out to our neighbors and just give them attendance one day because uh, a lot of the haunted houses open up the very first weekend in October, and attendance wise. We found the first weekend isn't very good, and, you know, we kind of want to give the scouts and their parents one last weekend before chaos ensues. Uh, controlled chaos. How's that? Wonderful. That, them are, like, very doll eyelashes. Good. So, them are, them are magnifique. Okay. Oh, just dropped my, my mirror. Well, at least it was only the mirror. Yeah. Well, the one side's braided somewhat decently. The other All right, side. so I just have to model it from the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or put the other side behind my shoulder. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. The other side did not want to cooperate. Okay. All right, let's do this. this. the front. Okay. Not like it matters because it's a wig. Well, <laughs> I'm not very good at putting wigs on. Is there like a net inside where I took my hair there, in? There is kind of. <laughs> it's a it's a cheap wig. Not gonna lie, and uh, you know, I just you get what you okay. pay for. You're gonna wigs. have to tuck my hair in. Yes. a little bit it's not perfect it's not the right color per se but uh so we'll just put a filter on the video there you go and darken it up and there then you go. This, this will look lighter there you go put more shadows on it <laughs> smile once i think that's pretty good pretty good yeah you what All right, so I think we're done. I think so. All right, there we go. Finished look. <laughs> Super creepy. All right, Luke, thank you so much for doing this today. This has been so much fun. You're welcome. Um, so Haunted Sawmill, you got to get there. Opens October 13th. WIFC night is coming up on October 28th. And um, you might see some of the WIFC staff. They're in makeup, ready to scare you. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. $10. Be a creepy doll. <laughs> $10 at the gate, unless you bring a non-perishable food item. And uh, every weekend we have a new charity that we're also benefiting on top of Scouts. So. Awesome. So get there. Creepy.